Ya. Oh, look. They got cameras on everyone. Hmm. And cameras in the front. Pretty small cameras. Oh, and a microphone. Hmm. It's in neutral. find out where the defrost is before we get going. We don't want to be searching for that on the way around. And uh, push the spook button on the transmission, right behind the transmission lever. There we go, make sure that light's lit. We're going to have to run with the windows up. So it's in neutral. It won't go anywhere until I hit up. Up, down, yeah. All right, guys, we'll pull the forward gear and away we go. You can um, use the shifters on the steering wheel. Um, we do only have to use third and fourth gear around here. But if you uh, just want to enjoy the ride, you can pull that lever over to automatic and you, with the sport button, then you're in sport automatic and that will get you around here just as well. That's a weird shift. Alright, so we're coming up out of the pit lane, heading up to turn two. Keep the wheel nice and straight. And now, that's it, we're going to try and drive pretty much a rain line. So we want to stay about car width off of the inside apex. You can kind of see those cones out there. We want to kind of stay off them a little bit today while the track is drying. Coming down into the three complex here, we just stay once again a car width off to the inside curb. Nice and smooth, there's going to be a little drop away here, a little blind turn, always makes things nice and interesting. Want to get the wheel as straight as possible coming over that crest. Alright, now we get on the brakes and now we're going to make a right hand turn through turn four. Kind of camera kind of takes away, so you've got to brake pretty early and you want to hold that brake all the way into the turn. Keep that weight on those front tires, those contact patches working for you. So five now we're going another blind crest, so we just want to be a nice light brake and you kind of hold the brake halfway down the hill here. Um, this actually drops about four stories in this one corner, luckily not all at once. So. Um, we definitely want to take it nice and easy, quite uh, inclined, so the speed kind of carries it through either way. And once you come out of the turn, we're once again on practically the only straightaway. Even though we never actually go straight, because now we're hitting diagonally back across the other side of the track, and set ourselves up for turn seven. So I'll be on the brakes here, and now it's going to kind of U-bend around, so we want to be nice and wide here and now we want to be looking for that cone all the way on the inside. That's going to point us in that direction, heading back down the hill through this turn 8 complex here. Basically a giant slalom, we're going to be switching back left to right, left to right. As I said, the vehicle uh, driving here are the V8 version of the R8, 420 horsepower, so plenty, especially in the rain, right? Coming down the hill, this actual point in the drive is actually just as fast as being at the end of the other straightaway. That's basically the joint fastest point on the track, even though it is in the middle of the corner. So a nice light break here, and the big puddle here on the inside, we're not too much fond of, so we kind of stay to the outside edge of the road here. And now we send our way all the way down to turn 11. Alright, so we're on the brakes. Now we want to kind of rim around the outside of the track. That's where that grip is. We've got to stay off that polished surface. 
and then get our car as straight as possible, as early as possible, because when we're straight, we can't accelerate in the rain or in the dry. Yeah, this is back to turn 12, but now we've nearly completed a whole lap. So we can pass stop finish here. There we go, and now you'll know the next turn coming up. As we go through turn 1, we're huddling up to turn 2, which is where we started.